Okay, so I see a lot of people still interchanging the terms spirituality and religion. The two are very different, all right? So in this video, we're going to touch on a few of those differences. Why is this important? Because it is important to know that religion is linear, spirituality is quantum, all right? Before we get into today's episode, my name is Tamara Tamu. You have just landed on the Unleashed Alchemy YouTube channel. Thank you for being here. Hit the like and subscribe button. You know all the things. Just do it. It helps the channel. Please and thank you. Let's get into today's episode. So, spirituality is quantum. Religion is linear. All right? Religion is a program system that is designed to keep people linear. It keeps people operating in a linear fashion. Religion keeps people thinking in a linear fashion. Religion keeps people thinking and speaking in a linear fashion. Religion keeps people existing in a linear fashion. All right. I am being dramatic on purpose. What does this linear consciousness lead to? Let's talk about it. This consciousness, we're going to talk about four things here. What does this linear consciousness lead to? It leads to you existing in attachments. It leads to you existing in the past. It leads to you existing in a mindset, in a mind frame that focuses on how things should be done or how things have been done or how things are supposed to be done. Those are all phrases that are tied up into time and attachments. That is one aspect. The second aspect, what of what a linear consciousness leads to? It leads you completely existing from the masculine way of doing things. Now, when I say masculine, I this is not a woman versus man way of doing things, okay? That's not what this is about. There is a masculine energy. There is a feminine energy that every single human being carries. We carry aspects of both. So this is not about gender. This is about an energy. It, it keeps you existing in the masculine energy, which can be a rigid existence. What does this look like? Existing solely in a masculine energy it shuts off your intuition. It places logic always over heart, soul, and spirit. It creates an imbalance. Existing in a linear way puts you in an off balance where you're completely in masculine energy and there is no body connection. So I'm going to repeat that second point again. It, you exist from a completely masculine, masculine energy, causes rigidity, shuts you off from intuition, places logic completely disregarding your heart, your soul, and spirit. There is com a complete imbalance. There is no body connection. You have no connection with your life force energy. All right. The third aspect of existing with a linear consciousness is that you exist in a box. What can this look like? It can look like keeping traditions. Even when there's evidence that these traditions upholding them are causing more harm than good. There is no flexibility because you're existing in a box. No questions allowed because you're existing in a box. 
there's only following a template which is existing in a box why even ask questions when you're only giving given these borders okay there's no need to ask questions right you're just given this box and says this is what it is this is how you exist don't go outside the lines and your life will be okay the fourth aspect of living with a linear consciousness is that you allow other people to control you you allow the outside to control you so what can this look like these are examples you're constantly looking for some step-by-step -step, tell me what to do strategy you're constantly constantly looking outside of yourself for an answer because you don't trust yourself there's no empowerment in that there is no exploration because you're looking for one, two, three. Remember, this is rigidity that we're dealing with here in a linear consciousness. And that is what relig religion wants because it was designed, the foundation of religion was designed to control people. So it controls people by getting people to exist in attachments, to exist in a time construct, it gets people to exist in a box. It encourages people to forget about their life force energy. Forget about intuition. You don't need intuition because something outside of you is going to tell you what to do anyway. So that's where the control comes in. All right. People don't explore. They don't explore themselves. They don't explore who they are. They don't, they don't even explore what they really want. They don't explore their own magic. They don't explore their own power because again, something outside of them is going to tell them what to do. So let's switch. Now, we said earlier that spirituality is quantum. There is no linear in spirituality. So what does this quantum spiritual consciousness looks like? Well, first, that consciousness embraces the quantum because no box exists. That person asks questions. Many questions are asks, asked because infinite possibilities are accepted i'm going to say that again in spirituality there is a quantum consciousness this leads to many questions being asked because infinite possibilities are accepted there's no template because there's self-mastery and sovereignty a person that exists with a quantum consciousness is not waiting for something outside of them to tell them to do anything because they've experienced self-mastery. They trust themselves. There's no template that they're waiting for because a template, again, tells you what to do. No, they're not waiting for that. They are sovereign and they exist in that. They accept that. Second thing is that a person that exists with a spiritual consciousness, an elevated consciousness, a quantum consciousness, the only thing that matters is now. There is no past, present. There is no past. There's no future. It is now. That leads to a transcendence mindset transcendence over time transcendence over the past and present transcendence over the external a person that exists with a quantum consciousness says that well i create the future what i say right now is the future and even when that person speaks they don't speak in future terms they speak in the now that's the second aspect. The third one is that the masculine and the feminine energies 
are in balance. There's no imbalance. There's no disharmony. The masculine and feminine energy are in harmony. Now, does this mean 50-50? No. This means that there is harmony between the two. So what does this look like? Your intuition is heightened and it stays at optimal level. So we're not pushing the intuition away. With masculine, masculine energy, you're taking action, yet your action is in flow. Your action is never forced. So let me give you an example. When the masculine energy is just taking over, all of your action is forced, it's hard, it's struggle. No. When the masculine and feminine energy is in harmony, it's synchronistic. Yes, you're still taking action, but the action is in flow. There is no force here. Another uh, point that I want to make about the masculine and feminine energy being in harmony is that the life force energy in your body is completely activated. Completely. Your heart, your soul, your body, your spirit, your mind, all of that is aligned. All of that is aligned. The last aspect that I want to bring up is about surrender and receiving. So there's no control here, if you notice. None. When you are functioning from a spiritual consciousness. When you are existing with a quantum consciousness. There is surrender and receiving. So what does this look like? There is, you have empowerment to command what you desire empowerment to command does not mean control you surrender to accept the how this surrendering and receiving aspect in your conscious in your spiritual consciousness this allows for exploration. This is not about you just doing a whole bunch of things, going down this laundry list of to-dos to appear busy or to stay busy. This is not about you doing a whole bunch of things. Exploration is about you taking an inspired action, taking action because that action is expansive and it is aligned. It doesn't mean that fear won't be there. It doesn't mean that discomfort won't be there, but there is a knowing that you have because you have reconnected with your life force energy. There is a knowing that you have that says this action may not make logical sense, but I know from my soul that this is the step that I am to take. And it's also not about taking action because you think you should. Oh, I should, maybe I, sh I should just take this action because, you know, it's it looks right. You know, maybe this is something I should do. You know, it makes sense. Other people are going to say it makes, no, no. That knowing does not, has no shoulds with it. When you take an action, it is many times when you are being led by your soul, regardless of what the external environment looks like to take an action, when you are taking action that is rooted and based, that is rooted from your, uh, or coming from your quantum identity, from your spiritual elevated consciousness, Many times you're going to find yourself taking the action before that logical mind can start to overanalyze. You've already taken action. You've already started. Many times that's what that looks like. And there is no, oh, if I don't do this and this is going to happen or I should do this. There's none of that. 
in there. So I wanted to give you these differences because re the term religion and spirituality, people, you interchange them. They interchange those words even to this day. It, th those two are not the same. So as a sovereign being, you get to choose which one you're going to exist in. And I will tell you that as a sovereign being, as a spiritual master, as a spiritual guide, spiritual consciousness and existing in an elevated consciousness, existing in the quantum, I'm going to venture out and say that that is how you came here to exist. That's how I came here to exist. But I don't tell people <laughs> what they should want or how they should want to exist. But, you know, if you're here watching this, I'm going to venture out and say that you're already in your spiritual mastery, that you are already walking in an elevated spiritual consciousness, that religion is behind you. All right. So welcome to this. Uh, welcome to all of us here. We welcome you to join us as alchemists, as sovereign beings who are raising our hands and saying, yes, we are here. We're raising our consciousness on a daily basis and we want to positively influence the world as we raise our level of consciousness to be sovereign, loving, quantum beings, period. All right, so let me know your thoughts on this episode and until next time, cheers.